the topic is types of plants now plants exist on the planet earth in great variety of form and are found everywhere so there are different varieties of plants which are present on our planet earth and they are found everywhere that is on land as well as in water so they are found on land and they are found on water as well now they vary greatly in size from minute microscopic forms to complex herbs shrubs and tall trees so plants can vary greatly in size that is that they can be very small or they can be very complex such as some small plants like herbs shrubs and they can be tall as trees also now plants such as rose mustard mango and apple they bear flowers and since they bear flowers they are called flowering plants so some plants they have flowers in them and they are known as flowering plants now plants like mosses ferns and algae they do not bear flowers and they are called non flowering plants so there are some plants which do not have flowers on them that is why they are known as non flowering plants now let us see the figure which shows a flowering plant this figure shows a flowering plant and the parts of the plants so let us see it shows the root now root has the function that it anchors the plant in soil and it absorb water and minerals from the soil so it helps to hold the plant in the soil and it also helps to absorb water and minerals which are required for the plant so this shows the root system now let us see the shoot system which is present above the soil now shoot system consists of the first part that is stem now stem consists of leaf and it transports water and food to various parts so stem helps to transport water from the root to the various parts of plants now the second part is branch it supports the leaves fruits and flowers so it helps to provide the support to the parts which are hanging to the plant now let us see the leaf leaf prepares food for the plant so leaves are known as the food factory of plant as they help to prepare the food and provide nutrition to the plant next part is axillary bud now bud helps to grow into a new branch so it is present here now fruit helps to store the food and it helps to protect the seeds now fruit is formed after the fertilization and it helps to protect the seeds now flower it is the reproductive organ and it produces fruits and seeds now flower helps to produce fruits and seeds after fertilization now node and internode are also present node is the point from which the leaf or the branch is arising and this is also a node where the leaf is arising and the gap between two nodes this is known as internode